Hey everyone, it's Jackie Bowman. So I am going to attempt to share the revenue share story as I understand it for eXp Realty. There are plenty of spreadsheets and things that you can follow and wealth charts and things like that that are provided to you. But I like to always tell a story so that people can follow it and better understand how they can realistically grow their revenue share tree or their revenue share group, right? So what I'd like to start with is, let's just hypothetically say that all of the agents on this sheet, when we talk about these agents, they will be capper status, which means that they will earn over $80,000 in gross commission per year brought into the company, and that they would be capping at their $16,000 cap. So just for simple numbers, we're going to use that scenario as we go through this chart. So let's just say that you came over to eXp Realty and that you attracted one person into your line one. $80,000 in gross commission income, you are going to receive 3.5% of that revenue. 3.5% of that 80,000 is $2,800 annually. This is annually passive and you are paid that the following month after they've closed their transaction. Now the quick question is, is do I receive revenue share even if they're not a capper? The answer is yes, you will receive revenue share even if they are not a capper. Um, you will, um, if they're a half capper and they only bring in 40,000, well, you're only going to be collecting about 1,400 annually because that's how much they brought in. But any deal that they do in your line one, you will be collecting 3.5% on that transaction. So let's just hypothetically say that you attracted four agents into the company. Now out of those four agents, one of those agents has attracted three people into the company. So we're going to go one, two, three, right? Into the level two. Level two is 0.2%. That would mean if they brought in $80,000 in commission, you would receive $160. Doesn't seem like very much, right? But let me continue on with this chart and show you where the real wealth building can happen. So this agent over here has attracted two agents into the company. And actually we're at 0.1%. So out of 80,000 in commission, you'll receive $80, okay? As we move forward, this agent here attracts one, two, three, four. Four agents to the company, right? It is also 0.1%, so that would be 80, 80, 80, and 80, right? And we're just going to quickly go through. This person's going to attract two at 0.1%, whoops. <laughs> and so this is another 80 and 80, okay? Now on the sixth level, this person attracts one. Now this will take some time to accumulate, right? But this is 0.5%, so you're gonna collect 400 from that person. And then of course they attracted two people, which would give you 400 in each of those buckets. Okay, so this is what a typical chart would look like if you attracted four in your line one. Now here's where the magic happens. In your line one, if you attract more than five, so let's see if we add this one here, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, that then opens up your tier two, right? When your tier two opens, this 0.2% is now changed to 4.0%. Now notice my line one always will remain at 3.5%. No matter how many agents you have in this top line, they will always be a 3.5% revenue. However, once you accumulate five here, that will open up your tier two and that will change this to 4.0%. And to give you some perspective, that would be I'm looking for a different color pen. 3,200 for each one of these agents. So that is a significant difference from the 160. So we'll cross off the 160 
and you'll be collecting 3,200 for each of those agents. Now again, if other agents in your line one are attracting into their line two and you already have five, that's some real wealth building growth there, right? So the next tier would be this tier three. Now once you've attracted 10, okay, so let's just say all of these are attracted agents in your line one, once you've attracted 10, that will open up your level three. And that 0.1% changes to 2.5%, which then changes those $80 into 2,000 for each one of those agents. Level four, I would need to attract five more agents. So if I have 15 plus agents in my line one up here, that would unlock tier four. One, two, that $80 and that 0.1% is changed from 0.1% to 1.5% or that would change to 1,200 per agent in your line four. This chart will continue to go on as you add agents. So in your line five, if you have anywhere from 20 to 24 agents in your line one, that will change to, instead of 0.1%, it'll change to 1.0%, okay? If you have between 25 and 39, in your line one, this will change from 0.5% to 2.5% in your line six. And then last but not least, if you have anywhere from 40 plus in your line one qualifying, this 0.5 in line seven will change from 0.5 to four, I'm sorry, to 5.0% which is huge. So you can go ahead and figure out how much you would earn in your line seven. I just wanted to tell that quick story on how the revenue share works.